moved there 14 years ago. I say myself, Louis and Paul were in uh, IP uh, having a crack. And um, all my life, you know, I remember going to college and my father dragged me down to Waterford and my father was reading me blunt when it came to women. And he said, um, love them, leave them. Don't come back next week. I'm paying for you to go to college. Don't come back next week and tell me you're falling in love with a girl. Go away, enjoy the four or five years of uni. And I um, had a great time and I always enjoyed my, my single life. I never really sort of envisioned settling down until um, that night that Sarah walked into Peppers and literally as soon as she walked in I thought, oh, she's something different. Immediately we got chatting and had an incredible night that night and um, I'd say we quickly hit it off as soon thereafter. And I think um, over the years I always thought, okay, this is the type of girl I want to be with. She, there's Sarah ticked every possible box. She's um, glamorous and one of, the, one of the most attractive things I find in um, in a, in a girl, you know, in, in, a, in a girl or a friend is um, something that my parents instilled in me as a kid, as a, a work ethic. And to see Sarah, who's an um, incredibly hard worker, and, you know, it's great that I benefit from it because she's um, she's a, a super girl. And it's, um, when I think about three, four years ago, I started thinking about, you know, I need to sort of do something here, wouldn't mind asking to marry me. So, and every, every Christmas, I, I, we think, okay, I'm not going to go home here this Christmas without at least asking the question. She says no, she says no. So eventually I built up the courage and met you for a quick drink. I said, Jim, I'm thinking about asking Sarah. And he said, literally just in a few words, said, yeah, what do you want to do? I'm on, and I said, it could be next week, it could be six months' time, it could be six years' time. I just got a bit of, for the consent. And lo and behold, I think it was three years later. Each, each time, and it does go back to she, we are an exceptionally communicative couple, we talk a lot, but it's the one thing she never showed her card on. So I was always a little bit nervous of a, of a no, but um, when I asked her, it was probably the greatest sense of relief um, I've ever had. And then eventually she said yes, yeah, so I was delighted. And um, we've had um, a great nine, ten months of planning this, or Sarah planning it. Fourteen years have been incredible, very easy, and if the last fourteen years have anything to go by, with the exception of the last two weeks, <laughs> I'm, I'm in for a good line. Thanks a lot, right? Have a joy tonight.